Hey everybody, it's Norm from Tested. I'm here at CES 2017. A lot of interesting electronics here, and something really interesting is a home beer brewing machine uh, called Pico Brew. Now this is Avi, who's a CTO and co-founder. How are you doing, Avi? I'm doing great. Thanks for being here. Now, we were drawn here, I gotta admit, because we saw there was free beer. Free beer at CES. And that's that. exciting. And it's this Pico Brew is a machine that people, you guys are selling now, that allows people to brew beer at home. Uh, what's the genesis of that idea, and why does this make sense as opposed to brewing in like your bathtub? Well, uh, having brewed in my bath, I, I have fermented in my bathtub. I will totally admit to that. Uh, this, is, this is a much better and cleaner system. But it not only lets you brew beer at home, but it lets you brew fresh beer from all over the world and brew great beer that you can't get any other way. I mean, so the beer that you're drinking right now in that glass, so that's that's the Chin Curtain IPA from Grossenbart Brewery, right? Like unless you go to that brewery, they don't they don't have bottles of that in the store. You can't go out and buy it. I, you certainly can't get it near us. You, that's the only way you're going to get that beer. And if you've been to that brewery, you can have it fresh at home. And we've been and able to have the beer as it's designed by the brewmaster fresh at home. Now, I'm a beer brewing novice. Uh, walk me through the components of Pico Brew and what are the, you know, there are multiple parts of the machine here. What is happening in each part? And what, how does this uh, compare to what a brewery, a professional brewery, would use in their, in their brewery? So from an ingredient standpoint, it's 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 the same. So we're using all grain and hops, just like any professional brewer would use, the same types of grain and hops that they use. But instead of being stirring pots and kettles all day and being standing over it for eight hours and boiling over and making a big mess and cleaning everything out with a garden hose when you're done, with this, you just load up, you'll receive a, a Pico pack, which comes with grain and hops. And so the grain are in here, and this is a this is a pack from Rogue Brewing, so it's a dead guy ale, same as you would get from their brewery. You put in the grain pack and the hops pack, load it up, slide it in the machine and hit brew, clean water in the keg, come back two hours later, your keg's full of unfermented beer. So there's th those two big processes. There's the brewing process, which for the Pico Brew, you said it's like a two hour process. You input your grain, your hops, your settings. Uh, it knows, the, the machine knows what's in there. Uh, and then two hours later, you get in the brewing keg, something that's ready to then the second part be fermented. For fermenting, right. And so fermenting is, fermenting is the other part, and you let the keg cool overnight because it's hot, but it's completely sterile. The machine takes care of all the sterilization for you. You add yeast, let it sit in the corner. Uh, we have a, a safe fermentation adapter that allows you to ferment at higher temperatures and still have great results. A few days later, that beer is ready to carbonate and drink. And so you bring it back to the machine, push it into one of these small serving kegs, attach the carbonation adapter, and you can be drinking it the next day. And all of those parts from the carbonation, like the, the consumables, I guess, uh, you guys sell. So Absolutely. what do you get when you when you buy a Pico brew? When you buy a, P a Pico system, it comes completely ready to brew. So it comes with the machine, the brewing keg, the serving keg, your first Pico pack, all the carbonation accessories, everything you need, cleaning brushes, it's it's ready to go. We don't, we don't assume you have anything already. I hear from a lot of people who brew themselves. Cleaning is a big part of it. You don't want contamination. Uh, so how does this maintain itself? Cle Cleaning's a huge part of it, and we, we've done a ton of work to make that as simple as possible. And so the, one of the biggest things is with the Pico pack, where the ingredients come, I, it's a, it's a compostable pack that has all of your ingredients in it. And so at the end of the process, you pull out this, this bin, dump everything in your compost bin, this piece goes in your dishwasher. The machine itself has internal water reservoir to flush the machine. And then every few batches, you can run a cleaning tablet through it. This is easy to wash by hand. Uh, it's pretty simple. And every batch, well, as part of the process, the machine is steam sterilizing everything as it goes. So you really don't have to worry about contamination. You, you, you want to be clean, right? Sterile dirt is still dirt, but you don't have to worry about the leaching everything out. And at the end of the week of brewing and fermenting, you have how much, how, what's the capacity, what's the volume? Five liters. Five liters, how many pints is that? American pints. It's, it's about a 13 pack of beer. 13 pack of beer. Um, now I know you guys are working with a bunch of breweries around the country that around are selling around the world yeah. to, for these packs. Now if someone wanted to buy their own hops or their own grains, could they also use that with the Pico Brew? So with this machine, you can't insert your own ingredients. So we have a professional machine, the Zymatic, that we've been selling for a few years that does that. But we actually just launched here at CES the Freestyle program, which allows you to design your own recipes online using our online recipe crafter. And you can design your own recipe and we'll send you a custom pack that's Norm's Tested Beer. And it has exactly the grain and hops, it's laser etched with your logo, and it's it's exactly what you're looking for. And if you like that pack, you can then actually publish that recipe to other people on the marketplace. And how much do packs usually go for, for about that five liters of beer? It, it depends on the recipe, it depends on the beer. You know, it's 20 to $35, it's a, it's a mix. Yeah, doing the math, that's that's about right for a 13-pack oh, I mean, beer. It's, it's beer you can't get any other way, so, you know, 
it's, it's priceless, right? Now, I noticed also in the setting here, something also caught my eye is uh, sous vide setting. So because Absolutely. you know you're controlling temperature, controlling duration, uh, you're also doubling this as a sous vide machine. Absolutely. So you can cook your steak too, and and that that's something we've also done with our Zymatic, and we've we've been doing for years in that, and that. Uh, People enjoy cooking in it too. I met people who enjoy beer also enjoy cooking. It lets you really dial in the moderatist food and uh, yeah. Beer and steak, I know because the, your, uh, your brew, uh, brew keg here, uh, once this is in the fridge, you would need another one to brew more beer. You guys still also selling more of these? Yeah, we do. You can, so you can get as many kegs as you want and just brew batch after batch after batch. No limitations. Very cool. Well, we'd love to test this in the office. Great to see in person. I know you guys have samples of beer. Absolutely. I'm going to try one here. That's pretty good. Mm, Obvious. Great to meet you. Great to meet you too. And we'll see you guys next time.